He's the new host on The Blocks and Hamish Blake has certainly been building up the drama on Nine's latest hit show, Lego Masters. Hit show and some. Hamish joins us live from Melbourne. Thank you for joining us, Hamish. Good to see you and congratulations on the success of the show. Man, oh man. Thanks, guys. It's a hit. Hey, they say a host uh, can make much. or break... <laughs> A host can make or break a show, Ham, but we've uh, we've seen some great hosts over the years. Scotty Cam, John, baby, baby John Burgess, Sonia Kruger, of course. W what do you reckon you bring to the table? BJP. Mm. Um, well, I think at the moment on the show, I'm making and breaking the show. Uh, so far, you know, we've only had three episodes and one of them just involved me really destroying everyone's Lego. So maybe it's the fact that I can do both. I can make and break. Ah, very good, yeah. You can double up there. It's amazing. I can't believe some of the stuff they do. Oh, it's Brilliant, absolutely it? incredible. And they yeah. don't even use any plans. And while you're hosting Lego Masters, Andy's on talking about your generation. Is there some healthy competition between the two of you now? Um, no, just a classic um, divide and conquer. We often, yeah. we often um, you know, joke that our relationship is... You know, we, it is kind of like a marriage. Like, we sort of know exactly what the other person is going to say. And it's... it's it's not so much that we're off seeing other people. This is just like your classic modern marriage where, like, I've got one thing to go and do, like, all right, I've got to go, I've got, you know, like, I've got a conference interstate, and, you know, Andy's like, well, I've got a golf trip over here, we've got to do, like, all right, well, I'll see you on the weekend. So at the moment, we've just got a, we've just got a busy modern marriage where we're doing other things and we'll get back together on the weekend. Well, you're oh, both you're so on fire, which is great. Hey, uh, your four-year-old uh, Sonny has been very supportive of the show, we're told. Is, he must be just stoked to have a dad who gets, you know, can stick a couple of pieces of free Lego in his pocket <laughs> when he's leaving the set each day, yeah? Yes, Dad. Uh, I mean, there were two and a half million pieces of Lego when we started Lego Masters. <laughs> I would say, minus my theft, we're probably looking at 2.41, wow. maybe 2.39. <laughs> uh, certainly still close to mid twos, mm. but I reckon I, reckon I successfully got about 100,000 pieces offset that are now just scattered around the house loosely, so it's well been done. a bonanza for the family. So you're definitely wearing shoes around the house at this stage mm. then? Yeah, uh, yes. Boots at all time. Like, steel cap boots. We don't muck around when it comes, uh, when it comes <laughs> to Lego. Um, oh, wait, I mean, Channel 9. I mean, obviously, the show's done well for Channel 9, but um, the, like, the lawsuits, the OH&S bill, the doctor's bills yeah. um, that we've had for people that are stepping on Lego, it will cost the network millions and millions in hospital well, bills. Well, I've actually so heard... It's probably the most expensive show legally ever aired. Mm. <laughs> I've actually heard that your whole house now is actually just built out of Lego, that you live in a Lego house. Is that true? <laughs> Yep. Slowly, slowly but surely, we're selling the traditional bricks back wholesale to second-hand brick sellers, 50 cents a brick, and just replacing yeah, just it with Lego. Just building it with Lego. Hey, Hamish Blake, uh, speaking of Sunny, his birthday is fast approaching. Last year, apparently, you made an incredible uh, slime cake, which was not nice of you. What are you going to do this year? Lego cake. <laughs> there's talk. Yep, there's, we're currently in discussions. and still a few weeks away from... Uh, yeah, I wish it was a Lego cake, because I could... I could absolutely, um, I could absolutely use some. I could use Brickman. I could cheat. Yeah, I could get him to build the Lego cake. But at the moment, Sonny's in discussions. He's he's deciding what um, what animal he wants. I've really painted myself into a corner after doing that slimer cake because now he thinks birthday cakes have to like do something. Like they have to have like a <laughs> function epic. on them. So. I don't know if we're looking at like I don't know red jelly exploding out of a volcano or something. I don't know. It's I'm actually feeling a lot of anxiety about it. Well, your better half Zoe has gone viral for making a very clever and healthy breakfast invention called party porridge. Have yes. you been eating it too? I have been eating party porridge. Um, is it yummy? Daddy, what does it taste usually, like? Usually, <laughs> yeah, the party porridge is. I mean, I mean party porridge is porridge with food colouring it. Party porridge sounds like it's like slang for, you know, something like that you'd take at an adult's party. But party <laughs> porridge really is just food, a little bit of natural food colouring in the porridge and some sprinkles and some coconut. And, yeah, the kids are going wild for party porridge at our house. Um, Daddy enjoys party porridge, but Daddy also puts chocolate in his party porridge that um, the kids don't know about. Just so wacky I assume, fun, just... Yeah, no, the kids... Uh, <laughs> They're not watching this, so yeah, this is that, that's Daddy's party porridge. Daddy's hey, spicing up his party porridge say, big time. Say hi to Zoe for us, mate. We've uh, <laughs> we've run out of time. We've had too much fun. Uh, we will thank you for your time, and we will be watching Lego Masters 7 p.m. Sunday on Nine. Hamish Blake, lovely fellow, yeah. Yeah, gorgeous guy. All right.